Hi everybody, it's the Soap Man, and it's time to cut the soap I made yesterday. With this particular column mold, if you watch the video, the making video, I've mentioned many times I have to get a super hot gel on this. Well, I got it. Oh, I made it at around 5 o'clock Friday evening, got up Saturday morning, before I left at 7 a.m. to go volunteer and give my soap out. It was still warm. Now, column molds, I mean, excuse me, wooden molds traditionally do insulate very well, but I not only use that, I wrapped it in heavy towels. Got a super hot gel phase, nice, slick, glass-like sides, which is what it takes to get it out of that mold. Okay, this part right here, this sort of tan, this is, when I get it cut and exposed to the air, this is going to do what Nurture Soap said it does and turn a dark purple. Look here. This is these are the, the one of the sides that I took off. Kind of see that dark purple there? That's what it's going to turn like. These were already exposed to the air. Um, I've got even even a cup here that I mixed it in. I haven't cleaned it out yet. It's starting. Like here are some of the scraps I had to trim off. They're starting. So it is going to turn that deep purple. So you're not going to see the finished soap right now. Although I will try along the way to show you pictures of it as it ages and darkens. And this is uh, my new friend Lisa Thorson gave it to me. It's Nurture Soaps Dirty Type 2. I don't think they make this anymore, but it was still on their web page under their like, or excuse me, their fragrance calculator. Went ahead and this is the very, very end piece. So I got the drop swirl on this end. This is gonna be solid purple. It's gonna turn out really nice, I think. Once it finally cures and turns the color it's supposed to. So, doesn't look like a whole lot right now, although the drop swirl turned out great. I was gonna go ahead and pre-cut a few of these, and then I got to thinking, well, you know what? Each one's gonna be different, and if you want to fast forward, um, feel free to, but you might want to see every individual one. So here we go. It's been 23 hours and this soap is really nice and hard. Of course it has tallow in it and it has quite a good bit of coconut oil. And boy, I do love this scent. It's very, very complex, very masculine. I really like it. And a dark, darkening color, dark, excuse me, scent oils that darken are not necessarily a bad word. I gave out one this morning. If you want to watch the video, it's the last drop swirl, or excuse me, the last spoon plot that I did. I used a scent oil that turns brown and did the spoon plop where you take a big plop and plop it in, in with white, and I gave it out today, and people just loved it. I even have a lot of guys come up and say, hey, I just love this soap. So I'm just really glad. That's why I do it, you know, to give people a nice quality bar of soap, and it's just something I enjoy doing. really like this. I like it just like it is, but when that side is exposed to the air and cures and that scent oil darkens like I'm pretty sure it will because the parts that have been exposed already have, this is going to really be neat. Look, there's an air pocket in there and it's just starting to darken even with that air pocket. Just love how each one's different. That's one of the things about different swirling techniques. Every bar is different. Mm, love this. See, just look at the one side. And then look at the other, how different it is with the drop swirl. Love this.
That one's fairly similar. Mostly black on that. You know, this section's definitely where it was starting to thicken up and I was pouring the black. And I can see the previous ones before is where I was pouring the white. Yep, here's where it was getting thick. Yep, there's where I was pouring the white. Yeah, we're back in. Oh, there's the black on that side and a lot of the white on that side. Must have been time to switch colors here. And as I'm cutting, I'm getting near the top, I can tell, because at this point, the colors were really, really getting thick on me. Plus, here's where I cut the top piece off for myself. Here's the one I cut for myself. That's the very, very top where I just kind of mixed everything in, and that's the bottom side. Not too much of it, but that's why I'm keeping that one for myself. Yep, not much to that one, here near the top. And finally. So let's get you into the picture here and show you. I'll keep you, I'll keep you updated along the way as the colors change on me. Hopefully that's going to turn the dark purple. I'm sure it will. Because the parts of the soap exposed in the making were exposed to the air and they've already in about 22 hours turned the dark purple so I think this will over time I think I'm going to be really happy with it I like it right now but I think I'm going to be really happy and I love how everyone is different anyway there you go thanks for watching and I'll see you next week bye